Thanks for joining us here on Fox 4 News. I'm Bella Line. It's a somber time here on Matt Lachey as this tight knit island community is reeling from what happened Saturday night. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see people are dropping off flowers at this restaurant called That Barbecue Place. It's across the street from Blue Dogs and it's where state troopers say a Cape Coral man drove into some outdoor seating, killing an 80 year old woman and injuring four others. Since this happened, Fox 4's committed community correspondence has learned more information about the victims and the 24 year old suspect involved. It's because we live and work in the communities that you call home, including here on Matt Lachey. White vehicle ran into a barbecue place and hit several pedestrians. I saw this like big commotion in the distance. And it started like coming towards me and people yelling and screaming. A sight and sound Steve Buchner won't forget, as he was the final stop, so to speak, in the deadly crash that killed a woman during the weekend. You know, time goes really slow when there's people suffering on the ground. He says after seeing tables flying and people rolling over this car, he stopped in his tracks. And that's when the 24 year old driver came barreling towards him. The police asked me, did you intentionally block the, the guy? And I was like, no, I just panicked. I just like, I hope he, you know, I hope he does. He doesn't, you know, he just goes someplace else. You know, was, you know, maybe I'm just better off just staying right here. And sure enough, he will swerve back into the road and came and hit me. So I had several people thank me. And now as Steve tries to make sense of what happened, the people of Matt Lachey in the greater Pine Island area are leaning on one another as the woman they call the pioneer of Pine Island is now gone. From Saturday night, we're a small community and we're very tight. We know each other, so so to know what happened to one of our own, we're very upset. We all feel like we lost our grandma. Yeah. Into Sunday, family and friends told several Fox 4 community correspondents they were reeling at the loss of Mary Lou Sharp. Fox 4 was also the first to speak with Sharp's family about the longtime Southwest Florida resident. Mary Lou's son sent Fox 4 this photo of them together and said he was, quote, at a loss for words. I've just been breaking up all morning trying to keep myself together to come do this kind of stuff. But, you know, it's the best thing for the community and try to try to heal. Friends and family say Mary Lou and her boyfriend Butch Gay were at that barbecue place Saturday night like they always were. So they were outside when the driver came barreling through. When we got the news last night, did we play? Did we not play? And you look back and knowing them was like they would have wanted us that, you know, Mary Lou would have wanted us to play. They say Mary Lou and Butch seen here in this photo sent from family, including Mary Lou's son, spent every Sunday here at Street Eats listening to live music and even singing some themselves. But now that music becomes a hymn in memory of this community's grandma and in support of Butch. So they would be sitting down right under yeah. that blue umbrella right there, right up front and center. Um, and, you know, we're going to miss her to death. I mean, we've all been broken up and I don't even know, like, lost for words. Fox 4 has learned the identity of the Cape Coral driver arrested in the case and is waiting for state troopers to verify it. Troopers maintain the investigation is still active. Reporting on Matt Lachey, Bella Line, Fox 4.